last math class we have discussed pair of lines passing through origin it is one line y equal to m1x another line is y is equal to m2x angle between these two lines is theta to the combined equation of pair of straight lines. Combined equation of pair of straight lines is x square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 0. This is a combined equation of pair of straight lines. Prachi, Tanvi, Marisvini, switch on your cameras. And uh, as you can notice, this is equation of second degree. Like if you have equation x square minus 5xy plus 6y square equal to 0. <coughs> this is combined equation of pair of straight lines. So we can easily find angle between these two lines. The formula is the same as it was earlier. Twice h square minus ab divided by a plus b. Using this, you can easily find what will be the angle between these two lines. All you have to do is identify a, identify b, identify h, and substitute in that formula. We compare these two lines. Find A, B, and H and tell me what is the angle between these two lines. So when you compare these two lines, A would be 1, which is minus 5, and B is equal to 6. Okay. A is 1, B. 2h is minus 5, b is equal to 6. When you substitute these values over there, what is tan theta coming out to be? Twice h square to be 25 by 4 minus a into b, that is 6, divided by a plus b. Right? What is tan theta coming out to be? It would be 1 by 7. Okay. Angle between these two lines, whose combined equation is this? This is a combined equation of pair of straight lines. Is tan inverse 1 by 7 angle between these two lines is tan inverse of 1 by 7. My next question is separate these two lines, this combined equation to two individual lines. We have combined equation of pair of straight lines and now we are interested to separate this into individual lines and these two individual lines would be of this kind because any line which passes through origin does not have a constant term right to separate these lines into two individual lines either by D method or by middle term split whatever method you want to use use and convert these two lines into two individual lines. Try. Convert the line into two separate lines.
can use middle of a split. It would be x square minus 3xy minus 2xy plus 6y square. I'm using middle of a split to convert combined equation line to two indivisible lines, right? This would be x common, x minus 3y minus 2y common, x minus 3y equals to 0. The two lines are x minus 3y equal to 0 and x minus 2y is equal to 0. That gives you y is equal to x by 3 and y is equal to x by 2. So these are two individual lines. And as you notice, these two lines, they do not have constant term. Therefore, they'll pass through origin. The lines are of this format. Y is equal to M1X, Y is equal to M2X. So any line which passes through origin does not have a constant term. Now, if I use this formula, tan theta is equal to mod m2 minus m1 over 1 plus m1 m2, where, what is m1? m1 is 1 by 3. What is m2? m2 is 1 by 2. Okay, will get the same answer or not? Find angle between these two lines using that formula. Use this formula. Tell me what is tan theta? Is it the same or different? It would be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus or 1 plus 1 by 6. So it's coming out to be the same only. 1 by 7. Same formula. Whenever you have combined equation of pair of straight lines, if you want, we can separate them. And if you don't want to separate them, we can directly find the angle between them using this formula. Just identify A, B, and H and substitute. Here, you know, theta. If theta is 0, h square would be AB, lines would be overlapping. Coincident times. If theta is 90 degree, in that case, A plus would be 0. Lines are basically perpendicular to each other. If coefficient of x square plus that of y square is 0, then it's like that. Whenever you've been given two uh, combined equation, we can separate into two lines and vice versa also. If you multiply these two lines, you'll get the combined equation. Both the things are possible. If we multiply the two lines, we'll get the combined equation. Let's find a relation between M1, M2 and the real numbers ABH. One line is this, another line is this. And if I multiply these lines, I'll get the combined equation. So the first line is Y minus M1X equal to 0. The second line is Y minus M2X equal to 0. I multiply these two lines. This line and this line, I write in the standard form. Standard form means equals to zero types. 
and then multiply them. So let's multiply. If you multiply them, it will be m1, m2, x square minus xy, m1 plus m2, plus y square is equal to 0. I have multiplied the two lines. I have multiplied these two lines. And now I'll compare them. This and this equation, they're basically the same equations. We'll compare them. How do you compare them? You don't equate the coefficients. We basically take the proportion of the coefficient. Coefficient of x squared is m1, m2. Coefficient of x squared is a. Coefficient of uh, xy is minus m1 plus m2. And their coefficient of xy is 2h. Coefficient of y squared here is 1 and there is b squared. So that's how we compare. So I've compared the coefficients of two lines, right? And now, if I cross multiply this and this, I'll get a result m1, m2 is equal to a by b. If I take this and this and cross multiply, I get m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h by b. These are two important results. These two results you have to remember. All right. Now write a question. Question based on this. If the sum of the slopes, if the sum of the slopes of the lines, of the lines given by x squared minus 2cxy minus 7y square equal to 0, x square minus 2cxy minus 7y square equal to 0 is 4 times, is 4 times their product. If the sum of the slopes of the lines given by x square minus 2cxy minus 7y square equal to 0 is 4 times their product, is 4 times their product, then the value of C is, then the value of C is. And these are your options. Take your own time, no hurry. Results you already have, which you have to apply, and you get the answer. square minus 2cxy minus 7y square equal to 0. And it's been given that sum of the slopes is 4 times the product. Of slopes equals to four times the product. This is what you have to use. Solve, write your answer in the chat box.
So what is the value of C coming out to be? Raji says two. All right. Sum of slope is M1 plus M2 equal to four times the product, four times M1, M2. Sum of the slope is minus 2H by B. Product of slopes is A by B. So B cancels out. So we have H minus H equal to 2A. So I have to use this one. Minus H is equal to 2A. When you compare this with this, A is 1. Minus 2C is 2H. And B is minus 7, which won't be used. So minus H would be equal to C. 2A would be 1. C equals to 2. That's your answer. It's correct. And we equals to two. Sum of the slopes equal to four times the product. B cancels out, and then you substitute in H. All right. Right. Next question. If one of the lines, if one of the lines given by if one of the lines given by 6x squared minus xy plus 4cy squared is equal to 0 is 3x plus 4y equals to 0. 3x plus 4y equals to 0. Then the value of c is x square minus xy plus 4cy is equal to 0 is a combined equation. And one of the lines out of these two lines is 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. First, where the focus of the question, you decide how to go about it. And then you answer this. How to go about this? You can use uh, this result also m1, m2, and m1 plus m2 also. Or you can answer without using this result as well. M1, the given line from the given line, you can find M1. The 
minus m1 you can substitute in the second equation you get the value of c Can identify A. Compare this line with the second uh, degree equation. A is six. H would be minus one by two, and B would be four C. Right. When you compare this equation with the x square plus two h x y plus b y square equal to zero, you get A six x minus half b equal to four C. Then you get the slope of this line, which is m1, and is 3 by 4. So I can substitute it over here. m1 is minus 3 by 4, and m2 is equal to a by b. What is a? a is 6. What is b? If you want, you can write in terms of a and b also, and later you can substitute. This would be A by B, B is 4C. So what is M2 coming out to be? Minus 2 by C. And this minus 2 by C, you can substitute over here. M1, we already know, minus 3 by 4. M2 is minus 2 by C. Then 2h. What is 2h? 2h is minus 1 divided by b. b is 4c. And then you get the answer. Yes, I think your answer is correct. On simplification, you get C is equal to minus 3. So this was one method. A comes out to be minus 3. the second method. This was the first method. Second method is that this line represents two lines. And one of the lines is this. Right? So I can replace x by minus 4 by, by, by 3. x is equal to minus 4 by, by 3 in this equation. So the combined equation should satisfy that. I square will come out. It will become zero. And from here, you get the answer for C. This is 36 by 3 plus 4C equal to 0. Or 4C is equal to 12 with negative sign C equal to minus 3. So that is the second method. In the second method, what we have done is we have found x 
from the given line substituted in the second. We could also use long division method because this line is a factor of this. If you use long division and divide this by this, you have to put remainder equal to zero. So that would be third method that you can try later. The third method, what you do, you divide the second degree equation by line given to us and then put remainder equal to zero because it is a factor of the combined equation. Right? down the method, two methods. The third method you can try at home later. Then combine equation, you can note down the heading. Combined equation of angle bisectors. Combined equation of Angle bisectors, combined equation of angle bisectors between between the angles between the angles of the line between the angles of the lines given by given by x square plus 2HXY plus BY square equal to 0. X square plus 2HXY plus BY square equal to 0. <clears throat> this is a combined equation of pair of straight lines. Right? It includes two angles. Suppose one angle is 30. Other would be 150. If one angle is 20 degree, other would be 140. There will be two angle bisectors. One angle bisector would be this. This is one of the bisectors. Another bisector would be perpendicular to this. And these angle bisector would be perpendicular. Draw the diagram. Combined equation of angle bisectors. Find equation of angle bisectors is I'm not deriving it, I'm just writing the formula. You can note it down. This is the formula for combined equation of angle bisectors x square minus y square over a minus b equals to x y over x. This is the combined equation of angle bisector. So this will give you two angle bisectors. It Angle bisectors are also the lines which are equally inclined with the two given lines. For example, B1. B1 is equally inclined with this and with this. Similarly, B2 is equally inclined with this line and with this line. So sometimes they are also review in a question indirectly. 
that find equation of those lines which are equally inclined with the two given lines. So angle bisectors are those lines which are equally inclined. Question for you. Suppose we have equation x square minus 4xy plus 3y square equal to 0. This is the combined equation of pair of straight lines. We've been given combined equation of pair of straight lines as x square minus 4xy plus 3y square equal to 0. The question is find combined equation and individual equation. Find combined equation and individual equation of angle bisectors of angle bisectors between the two lines given by this between the two lines given by this combined and individual equation of angle bisectors of the angles between these two lines It is pretty simple. Identify A, B, H. Substitute in the bis uh, bisector equation. That will be the combined equation. And then you factorize either by middle number split or D method. Get the individual lines. You have 10 minutes. Answer. It is similar. Identify ABH, substitute in the combined uh, angle by sector equation. Now separate them into integral equations also. If it is not possible, then you can use D method also.
Also tell me the angles between the two angle bisectors. Also find angle between two angle bisectors. Add your answer, please. Only Madhav has answered so far. You have to identify A, B, H. A is 1. B is 3 and H is minus 2. Substitute over here. X square minus Y square over A minus B. Equal to X, Y over minus 2. Minus 2 minus 2 cuts. And your answer is X square minus X, Y minus Y square equal to 0. So this is a combined equation of Mahasaya could have cancelled two throughout. This is a combined equation of